Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and I got a bit of good news today. Uh, over the weekend, I've been gone all weekend, so answering emails is a little slow. I'll try to get to them tonight. But last week, I had one of my viewers wrote me and told me he was selling his snapper. He had an accident with it and he uh, hit the mower deck with the blade and it uh, did some damage to the deck. So I'm going to try and fix that. I bought it for my father-in-law. He's been looking for one and it sits over here. As you can see, I got the deck off it and the tires are off. We're going to check out uh, the bushings and everything else in it. <coughs> Excuse me. And fix it up for him. So, Travis, thanks for bringing that up here. He actually drove it up here from Elkhart and sold it to me. Saved me a long trip. But <clears throat> you did something else for me, Travis, that you or me never even thought about. On the front of that machine, the steel part that comes up that your steering shaft goes through, there's a label on there from a dealer that serviced that machine before Travis got a hold of it, apparently. And the name of that dealer is Granger Lawnmower Place. They're on Birch Road in Granger, Mich uh, Granger Michigan, Granger, Illinois. Indiana. Sorry, I'm all mixed up tonight. <clears throat> and uh, I called him and wanted some information on that machine, like the age and what had been done to it. And her records, apparently, she was having trouble with the computer and it, it wouldn't pull any records up. I said, well, <clears throat> that's all right. But now that I have you on the phone, let me ask you another question. Do you have any new double baggers for the old snapper riders. And she says, I think I might have one in the back. So she got a hold of, I believe it's her son that's running the place now. Uh, he came to the phone and he says, I think there is one. Let me go check and make sure all the parts are there. It's brand new in the box. So he comes back in a couple of minutes and he says, I checked it out. All the pieces are there and uh, the box is there, but it's not in real good shape. <laughs> As you can imagine, after sitting there for 20 years, getting moved around, it was pretty much when I looked at it, a flat piece of cardboard. You just kind of fold it over this thing. But... <clears throat> They did have one, and I drove down there and got it. It is a pretty much remarkable shape for its age. you got to remember, this thing is probably 20 years old or older. Let me show you what it looks like. It's got all the parts. The tube is here with the handle and bracket already installed. The chute that goes on the mower deck is the same. It's already got the bracket installed on it. And uh, the bolt and wing nut that holds it onto the deck. The two bags and brackets, the frameworks, are in the bag already. I don't know if he did that for me because normally when you get these, the frame is not in the bag. Of course, I won't swear to that because I never bought a brand new one before. Uh, the sport arm that goes from the front of the bagger down to hooks into one of the holes on the back of the frame and the spring that holds the cover shut and the unit itself. And I just can't believe how clean and shiny this thing is for as old as it is. But I've had a lot of viewers contact me.
and ask me if I had or have any uh, extra baggers. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, I only had what I use, and the one I've got is getting in really bad shape. The chute here, where the tube goes in, this is really distorted, and it's cracking on the bottom where it hooks to the uh, housing. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna that's gonna break off one of these days. And um, I had the opportunity to snatch this thing up, so I grabbed it. It wasn't cheap. Same price it was when they were brand new. Now, if you're looking for one of these baggers, you can take out your stupid smartphones. And what I did was Googled, let me look at what I said, because it'll probably make a difference. I wanted a list of snapper dealers in Michigan. Now, you're going to change that to your state, and it will bring up all the snapper dealers, get rid of this glare, in Michigan. There's quite a few of them. It's still going. And just ask them, do you have one, or do you know if someone else has one and uh, they're out there to find you just got to do a little legwork and you can find them I have an Ingersoll garden tractor that takes several implements uh, I've got a blower and a tiller and mower decks and I needed a bagger for that and I did the same thing I googled a list of Ingersoll garden tractor dealers and I started from Michigan and I worked my way out. I got clear over to the other side of New York and I got a hold of a dealer that said, I just talked to a dealer about three days ago that says he has one, it's in perfect shape. Well, I've heard that before. So I said, Where is he? I'll drive up over there. He says, uh, It's in a place called Cadillac. I said, Cadillac where? He says, Cadillac, uh, Michigan. He didn't know where I was calling from. That's only two hours from here. So grabbed my truck and the wife, and we drove up there and looked at it. And it was as shiny as this one is. <clears throat> I swear when he, he said an elderly guy had it, and he traded the whole thing in. Somebody else bought the tractor, but they didn't want the bagger. Now, the baggers for them things consist of a big bracket, a 14-inch hydraulically driven blower, and all the hoses, and they're $2,500 brand new, which they don't make anymore. They've been discontinued just like these have. You can't buy a brand new one from the factory. They don't have any. So I went up and looked at it, and he only wanted $900 for it, which I thought was a deal, so I bought it. Um, but just try that. Uh, get on your dumb phone and <laughs> see if you can find one. They're out there. You just got to do a little legwork. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and see if you can find yourself a beggar. We'll talk to you soon.